Well, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday morning on this beautiful October, uh, beautiful October day. I'm taking a little walk outside, uh, outside the office, stretch the legs a little bit, um, enjoying the weather, enjoying the campus, and thought um, be a good time to give a little bit of an update and some just some thoughts, especially for those who are. Um, with us on uh, for worship opportunities via the YouTube via the live stream um, first of all we want to thank you for all of your great comments and suggestions and words of thanks that you've given us for for the efforts going on here and especially all the people involved in bringing that to you it really means a lot uh, so keep those coming as as you know the the goal is not so much to get people back into the sanctuary, although we love to see people in the sanctuary, of course, but the goal is to get people worshiping together, no matter how we're doing it. Um, you know that when we bring people here, safety is first and foremost uh, what's on our mind. So when people arrive uh, at the bottom of the stairs, before even going up the stairs to the door of the sanctuary, uh, we take the temperature of everyone on there, uh, and we ask them, uh, you know, is there any chance you've been around someone who's been exposed or is exhibiting symptoms of COVID? We ask them how they're feeling. Are you feeling okay? Do you feel like you're up to be here? Uh, of course, we should all be asking ourselves those questions before we even leave the house. Um, when we go into the sanctuary, of course, everyone has their masks on and we uh, try to keep people moving so that we're not congregating and we keep the distances while we're sitting. And people are, uh, thank you so much everyone for uh, using those guidelines uh, to all of our advantage to keep everyone as safe as we possibly can. You know, one of the things that's still real out there is the whole asymptomatic sharing of, of, this, uh, of this virus. You can, you can carry it and share it and show no signs of it. Um, the science has not yet figured out why that is. There's a plane going over by. It's a jet. There ought to be another one. Nope, just one this time. Okay, we'll take it. Um, where was I? Oh, asymptomatic sharing. So that's why we go through all those procedures. You can feel just fine and still share this thing if you happen to be carrying it. So uh, thank you for all of your understanding. Those of you who do participate with us uh, via the YouTube, um, there are some things that you've asked us about, you know, how, how can we better do this? Is there a way to, to, to get past this, uh, this section of the worship? Not get past it, but to, uh, that I can, you know, be a little better involved. And we understand that there are times in a worship service, of course, where, you know, there's a prayer going on or the time when we're taking the Lord's Supper and there's a you know, long period of time when when you're sitting at home, you know, you've you've prayed, you've you've taken your bread, you've taken your your drink and now you're sitting there you know, watching other people do it. And it, it takes some time with the with the procedures in place. And one of the questions is, you know, what, what do you suggest that, that we do during that time? Well, uh, first, thank you for the questions. A very thoughtful question, and uh, thank you for understanding uh, that we're, you know, working on helping, uh, you know, make that. I don't want to say better, uh, but make it more worshipful. How's that? In the meantime, un until different things come up, and who knows when, and who knows what, I would start first by writing down your prayers even before worship time begins. If you write down your own personal prayers, the things that are on your mind. Maybe during the time of the Lord's Supper, that's a time that you can offer those prayers while people are, are walking up and, 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 um, and getting their elements of the bread and the cup. Um, you can have a picture album with you and page through it with, uh, with your spouse or even with a friend. Uh, have you invited a friend to enjoy worship with you while you're watching it on the YouTube Live? Uh, if you haven't, try it. Uh, it might be a really special way uh, to share that time with somebody. But anyway, back to the picture album. Um, paging through, recalling memories, having other faces to, to pray for and to make you smile. Um, a lovely way uh, to uh, use that time. In addition to that, I've often suggested when you go to see someone at the hospital or at their house, especially someone who's been shut in, take a picture album with you on that. You'll never run out of stories to talk about while you're visiting. Um, pray for the people you see. So you're sitting at home, you've taken your elements, the bread and the wine, and, and now you're watching other people come up. Well, if you recognize them and you know their story, 
offer them a little offer a little prayer in their behalf and smile knowing that God is right there with them as much as God is right there with you um, also go and do not be afraid at all when you're watching us on the live stream to use the chat feature and let us know what's on your mind someone is observing the YouTube live the entire time that we're live streaming so as soon as you type in your your thought your prayer um, uh, someone sees it and if it's a prayer they write it down and they get it up to me and I offer it during the prayer time before the serving of the Lord's Prayer so be sure you're using uh, uh, that mostly keep in mind always that when you're at home uh, enjoying the service worshiping with us finding your way uh, to, to allow the Holy Spirit to make that into a worshiping space for you just remember that the most important thing is that we are a community of Christ under the wings of the word no matter where we happen to be if that truth can envelop you if that gift of the spirit can really just fill the very air that you breathe this is just a time and this may be a time that is with us for a while but we can still trust god through the power of the holy spirit to make us his holy community friends don't forget to pray for us as we work every day to, to make this uh, as, as safe and as worshipful experience as we can. And know that we're praying for you and love to hear your stories. Um, no less than 60 people watch the, the service or participate, and it's probably more than that because people already have friends over and are enjoying it that way. The community of Orange Park Presbyterian Church is strong, it is thriving, it is resilient, and we're going to continue to be. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.